Welcome to Crappy to Happy Podcast, a special series on our Sacred Stories podcast dedicated to sharing the incredible stories of grit, grace, and love in our new book, Crappy to Happy, Sacred Stories of Transformational Joy. I am your host, Rev. Ariel Patricia, and together we will answer the question, do bad things happen to good people, or could the difficulties we face be gifts in disguise? Today, we are speaking with New York Times bestselling author James Redfield on the beautiful foreword he wrote for Crappy to Happy and his perspective on how joy can win. James Redfield is the author of The Celestine Prophecy, which created a model for spiritual perception and actualization that focused on the mysterious coincidences that occur in each of our lives. The Celestine Prophecy resonated with millions of people and quickly climbed to the number one position on the New York Times bestsellers list, remaining on the list for more than two years. And currently, the Celestine Prophecy has had a resurgence in the consciousness of of today's world. You can find out more about James and his current work at his website, CelestineVision.com. And so it's my delight to say welcome, James Redfield, to Crappy to Happy. Thank you. Nice to be with you. I'm excited. As I mentioned before the show, this is our sixth or seventh interview together. and, And I will never tire of chatting with you, James, about... Uh, uh, about anything you want to chat about, because I, I love all of our conversations and the, and the wisdom you bring to them. Well, you know, it's it's a uh, particularly, I'm, I won't say challenging as much as uh, uh, somewhat uh, lowering of energy situation that we're all in in the world right now, you know, and uh, uh, that too has a silver lining. And uh, I believe it's uh, much of what we're learning to do is is be with ourselves, uh, open up our sort of centered place, uh, and really start to live our lives from a spiritual point of view. Uh, and and those, uh, uh, of course, uh, uh, principles. Uh, each of us has a different kind of background to. Uh, but I believe uh, in all my work's based on a long uh, evolution of thought uh, called the human potential movement, which has been a kind of uh, organized quasi-scientific uh, exploration of what our true spiritual consciousness is uh, as it's manifested on the planet uh, uh, all, all these eons. Uh, but what's happening, I believe, is that we're getting clarity. There's a consensus building out there in the human potential movement about exactly what's involved in living, tuning in, and then living this highly creative spiritual life. Mm. Uh, it doesn't sometimes work. It always works. And that's, I think, in mass here as we struggle with being uh, isolated a bit, uh, what we're all learning to do is to enter that spiritual consciousness uh, more often uh, and uh, learning to tune in to the way we're helped in life. And again, mysterious coincidences, uh, you know, what Carl Jung, the founder of the human potential movement, in my uh, opinion, uh, you know, it's all about, it's about the, the, the help we get in life. So I believe that's the, the greatest sort of message coming to all of us now uh, from a spiritual point of view. It's, hey, there is help, but we have to tune out of our ego and into the, what I call the, the true understanding that's emerging about spirituality, how to tune in and how to get all this, this mysterious coincidences happening uh, in our lives and, uh, and what happens then is that life goes easier. And if, yeah. if there's any time in history when we're, we're, uh, willing to prove that to ourselves, it's right now with the, with the shutdowns and all that goes with that, uh, we need all the help we can get. Yeah. And one can prove to oneself that, uh, the, the understanding of how to do that is, is, uh, is now in the world fully. 
Ab absolutely. I agree with you completely. And I think, you know, that's one of the, 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 the foundational reasons that I love the Celestine Prophecy and I love our book, Crap It Happy, because both of the books use the power of story. So these deep spiritual, this deep spiritual wisdom and consciousness is grounded within the experience of I consider stories lived wisdom. And so before we even go any further, I just want to publicly say thank you so much for writing the foreword for our book, Crappy to Happy. Um, and, I, and I believe your foreword beautifully captures the, the, the heart of the book and, and everything that you just said is shown through the stories in Crappy to Happy. That's right, because it's, it's you know, as I, I uh, wrote in the forward, uh, you know, it's, it's the art of the comeback. We all get knocked down. We all get uh, surprised with events. You know, there, there are hard moments that happen in life to everyone. And, uh, you know, it's, it's not so much that we're going to stop that from happening, Although I believe that spiritually tuning in, we can avoid a lot of it, uh, but it's it's how we come back, and uh, that's that's the new wisdom out there in the world, I believe. And, and of course, uh, as you know, I think a, a key understanding about how the spiritual world really works. You can even say uh, uh, that the operating system that. Uh, a planet earth works right mm. uh is to tune in to to get our uh the, the the benefit from the design we have to move from uh a kind of taking or uh, uh orientation and move to a giving or uh orientation because that's what that's what brings uh this uh, what I call inspiration energy to go do something that's that's helpful in the world. Uh, that's what brings it back. And of course, uh, you use the word joy uh, in, in the book, and and I think that's brilliant because that's what in, inspiration energy feels like. It feels like joy. Mm -hmm. It's like you, you're connected. You're in alignment with the spiritual design that that we we're discovering here on the planet. And uh, when we do that, and uh, you know, it's it's a particular feeling, and it's always marked by the comeback. We're back in our stride uh, when we return to our joy, and uh, it's all. It always takes a while uh, when when <laughs> we have setbacks, you know. But we know how to get back to this joy. I believe uh, more than any other time. Yeah, it, it it's a journey. You wrote in the foreword, and, and I just was like, wow, you know, I, I appreciate so much that you not only really read, you know, you read the book, which, which I guess should be a minimum expectation of somebody reading a foreword, but so, you know, forwards can be written in, you know, with a skimming, right? But, but I can, I can see by the foreword that you wrote, that you read the book. And, and that's one of the things that I appreciate about you, James, is, is the integrity in which, in which you show up and the way that you walk, walk your journey. And you wrote in the foreword that the, um, the book, the stories in the book, show how to live life fully and spiritually in the real world of pain, self-discovery, struggle, and joy. And remarkably, what is displayed is an authentic look at how and why joy can win. And I just really appreciated, among all of your words, those words, because I do. I believe that really fully grounds, it grounds the importance of a book like Crappy to Happy, and it grounds the importance of us sharing our human stories, because within that story, within the lived wisdom of our story, are really, really deep spiritual consciousness that we can draw from um, and we can share with others. Well, yeah, stories are particularly helpful because, yeah, we see uh, stories tell us uh, a beginning and a, a struggle and then overcoming the struggle, right? Uh, so it, it's it's stories that give us an inside look at what it feels like to come back, uh, to be to be knocked down, but yet come back, and um, and you know, it's again. Um, uh, 
in in the stories of my books, you know, they're all they're all parables, they're all uh, novels uh, that point to real truth in the universe. But but it's all it's a story that I use, and uh, so with all these stories in 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 this book, it's it's very. Uh, it's very easy for people to tune in from where they are and what kind of setback they're having uh, and to relate uh, on the mindset it takes to come back, you know, the, uh, the personal decisions it takes to come back, uh, the faith and um, kind of vision of how to come back. Uh, and all those are spiritual uh, experiences. You know, I call them insights. Uh, but one key, I think, factor that's shown in the book is the idea that we can return to real life, return to engaging in our dream and what that feels like as we embrace it again, but also in networking with other people. Uh, because uh, you know, uh, people, community. I mean, it's, it's, it's a big message uh, that I have right now. That community is important. And now that we've, uh, at the same time that that uh, uh, we're knocked out of our community, really, uh, we're uh, able, I think, just generally, to realize its value maybe for the first time, especially in the younger generation. You know, it's always been easy to, connect in this world you'll connect and you still connect but suddenly it's electronic it's not soul to soul so as we come back from you know these shutdowns and we come back from uh, our personal uh, hurts and and setbacks you know i think the key absolutely the key uh, basic game plan has to be giving uh, you know, people are, that I've known who have had setbacks and, you know, I've known people who have lost children. And, you know, I think the consensus, if you, if you were to uh, uh, solicit one out there in the world, it's, that's the worst, right? That's, that's just the worst. It's not, that's not supposed to happen. Uh, and, but it does. And it does. And, I, I, you know, I know a lot of stories where people have had to deal with this. And, uh, but they, they, and to, and to me, the key way that I've seen people recover from even the worst is they go and they help other people who are suffering from that same kind of setback. Mm -hmm. And what happens is that synchronicity, you know, meaningful coincidences, once you, once you have the intention to go out and help, then the people who need help, uh, you know, you, just pop into your world you know that's the way it's designed uh and and when we do that uh and and when we go in and and we we summon up some kind of love-based energy to give others who are in shock you know down depressed um uh, by any event but especially losing a child uh you know knowing that we can send open our hearts and send this energy, the divine energy through us into someone else, imagine them finding their connection with the divine that brings a peace that surpasses all understanding. Like every religion uh, says in, in their, in, in their scriptures uh, of some kind, uh, you know, that's the peace that we can, we can actually give as a gift to people. And uh, we just have to intend it. But the key thing is that when we give like that, uh, what happens is that we fill up first with that same kind of peace as it, it, as it flows out to the other person. So usually people who are depressed, who have really got slammed hard, they can't remember how it was not to be depressed, right? That's why community is so important because community comes in and reminds them, gives them that energy, you know, that, that divine energy. Uh, it's, it's all, uh, that 
that experience is a divine connection experience. So uh, when we help others to move into that zone, so they remember, yeah, there is a such a thing as an inspired life. I can get that back. Mm. And once we, once we remember, <laughs> you know, everything starts to come back in, you know, the dreams we were working on the help that we can give other people. And so, uh, again, this is, this is a worldwide, uh, phenomenon. I believe right now, uh, as people get, have gotten again, especially younger people slammed in fear. Uh, and, and, uh, if I may say this, no real for no real purpose and uh, so it's it's it just shakes everybody's security about the world and what the world is and and how safe are we how safe can we be when you have a lot a lot of forces out there saying how uh, you should be terrified all the time so it's a uh, it's it's a recovery that's monumental. It's already happening. I can I can and just you can, uh, you know you can, you know it. Uh, the the comeback is already happening. Uh, we just need to remember uh, what it is we can connect with and uh, give energy and and give this vision back to pe- other people. And that's one thing the book does. And I, I immediately saw that it. It reminds people what they can have. Joy can win. Mm. It, I agree. I mean, I completely agree. And I think that's the heart of it, right, is the connection. So we connect through our stories. We create community through our stories. I just want to give a shout out to the eighth insight, right, James? That's the one you're referring to, even the filling up of the energy within ourselves and sharing out to others. Um, and, you know, the, every insight is profound and tangible and beautiful and actionable and that one in particular you know when we can embody embody the the consciousness and then share um so not only the comeback but the give back right um and and really it's a giving it's the giving that starts you know if we can remember you know it's it's the giving to others help love uh synchronicity uh that starts that process of it then coming through us as as it goes out to mm-hmm. others. Thanks. So you know it's a way to uplift ourselves at the same time we uh uplift others and if we do it methodically uh it's a way to stay in joy long you know longer and longer. And right. uh, essentially uh be able to stay in joy all the time like the great you know the great mystics of the world who uh, could not be lowered by any circumstance. You know, I think it's, I think it's a human, uh, I think it's innately human, or maybe it's innately our souls, that idea of, of helping others, because we do see that in the book, Crappy to Happy, many, if not all of the stories, um, one of the, the responses by the, by the people as, as much in the chaos as they were, um, or in their, their journey, they look to others to help others. And so I, I, I think that's one of the beautiful things about our human heart. And that's where we can connect is that wanting to be, um, wanting to help another person, giving that hand, that hand up, you know, and, and the book, the book absolutely does that. And also it's community does that. Um, speak briefly, James, I know that you are, you have created the Celestine community, right? Um, Speak about that because I do believe that that is a really important part of us all coming to where joy can win, us where all of us can can kind of come out on the other side in this chaotic world. So share about the power of community and, and how others can connect with you in community. Well, uh, you know, uh, our site is CelestineVision.com. Our, people can Google me and they, they'll be able to go on our site and see our community. And we describe it there. Um, you know, it's a learning community, you know, for people who, uh, you know, know the books well enough or are excited about uh, the potential in the books for them. But, but really the, the people want to be in a community learning this, 
uh, how to tune in spiritually in the way that it's becoming clear now of how to do it. Uh, and, and, and to, uh, you know, discuss that with other people. So it's, you know, community still can happen over the internet. Uh, uh, it, it, and it does when we share uh, our lives with other people, right? And, uh, and what happens is that uh, the whole call to action in the cell thing community is to try to be a synchronicity from other, for other people, not from your, uh, your inner needs to, uh, to talk, but your inner needs to give. And, and uh, knowing that as you give, you also uh, raise your own, energy in your own a sense of spiritual connection all that goes with that so <clears throat> it's a way to talk about it in, in the, the whole process in this in this community so it's and it's you know it's designed for for to, to be high in content <clears throat> so that you know we're all talking about uh how to do it you know <laughs> how to stay connected spiritually <clears throat> so it's it's a uh, it's something that anyone can do. There are a lot of communities popping up around various themes. Uh, so I think it's uh, while we're shut down, uh, this is the way to uh, continue to live and discover and have synchronicities uh, and be creative and find our dreams and discuss it. Because it all happens really in the discussion we have with other people. Uh, it's always happening happened that way. And uh, so it's, it's, it's very important to, I believe, for everybody to find a community. This one is about, uh, you know, the process of tuning in to, to have what is our birthright, which is a flow of mysterious coincidences that uh, solve our problems, that begin to clarify who we are, what we're here to give. It's always a truth to tell other people. So uh, as that becomes more and more clear, we become more and more uh, energized and inspired uh, so then it's a matter of uh, just a, a getting more clarification about who who we are in the world and what we want to do and where we want to end up in whatever job or business or our, our, our invention uh, and and let the synchronicity you know expect the synchronicity to uh, to keep this flow going do we have setbacks of course but that's just a challenge to uh, find a uh, silver lining in that set, setback and move on uh, in a whatever course correction uh, we're supposed to make, but keep on flowing with that heart's desire to, to find our soul's dream and our soul's way of helping. Mm. I love that. I love expect the synchronicity and I will also say enjoy, right? Because that, that, that follows when we live from this. Right. And it all builds on itself. The more, the more joy you bring to your, synchronicity uh the more things happen uh the more things happen synchronistically the more joy you feel because it's it's bliss it's the bliss of your soul knowing it's on its journey on its right track through the world to uh to deliver a special way of helping that each of us has and i believe that that really starts in connection so whether we're connecting through the power of story in books like crappy to happy Sacred Stories of Transformational Joy, or we're connecting person to person as much as we can in this crazy pandemic world we're, we're living through right now, or we connect in the virtual communities like the Celestine, the Celestine Vision uh, offers and the community you're offering, James. I believe that that's where we start. And so if, if others are feeling kind of like, I don't know that I'll get my joy back or how can they talk about joy? You know, this is, I'm having a really hard time or this world is very difficult. Um, I would say start with a point of connection, you know, in, in, in there's three, three suggestions, three opportunities um, to start with. Would you, would you agree? And would you suggest others as kind of final thoughts for people to, uh, well, I think that's 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 very true. Uh, you have to you have to start wherever you are. If it's a problem you want a solution for, then then that's what to wake up in the morning waiting for. Uh, 
something about just you know waiting and then if we get an intuition of some some old friend to call some uh, action other action to take well that's an intuitive guidance that leads us toward the synchronicity that's waiting for us so it's we have to we have to actually act uh in 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 a way that 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 is active that 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 moves us off center sometimes it's a uh it's a challenge but that's what that's what's called for to get to that place where uh, more clarity happens and the problems uh, can get solved yeah absolutely james redfield thank you so very much for being my guest today on our special edition our special series crappy to happy which is talking about our our new new and best-selling book crappy to happy sacred stories of transformational joy well thank you yeah i mean i enjoyed it enjoyed it every time thanks for your work out there and and listeners again you can find out more for, about james redfield you can just google his name and his website is celestinevision.com and i do encourage you to to follow up with James and to check into the new community that he's founded for that, for inspiration and support on, on the journey and community on the journey. So you've been listening to um, our special series, Crappy to Happy, and it's based on our book, Crappy to Happy Sacred Stories of Transformational Joy, which is available through Amazon booksellers worldwide or direct through Sacred Stories Publishing. I am your host, Rev. Ariel Patricia, and I want to thank you for listening. And as always, until next time, I encourage you to write your sacred story well. <laughs>